Now, Europe has witnessed an increase in terrorist attacks since 2015. Paris endured attacks at the beginning and end of the year. Then in March of 2016, three coordinated suicide bombings in Belgium. Four months later in Nice, France, a truck drove into a crowd celebrating the Bastille Day. 86 people were killed. The same year in Normandy, France, terrorists attacked a church. And a Christmas market attack in December in Berlin killed 12. 2017 has seen attacks in London, Stockholm, and Manchester. Concern, condemnation, and pledges of cooperation. World capitals and international organizations are expressing solidarity with London and outrage over the violent attack. CGTN's Jim Spellman is in the newsroom. Jim, what are the leaders around the world saying about this terror attack? Well, Guan, as expected after an incident like this, world leaders are expressing sympathy and solidarity with the UK and victims of the attacks. Germany, India, Australia, Pakistan, and many other countries all condemning the attacks. The news is resonating especially strongly, though, in some of those countries you just mentioned that have faced their own major terrorist attacks in recent years. I would like to tell you personally that in the face of these attacks, we must remain calm very firm and extremely determined to defend what we are, what we share with the British, which is a love of freedom, a visceral attachment to democracy that will never falter. Here in the United States, President Trump took to Twitter to make several comments. He used the attacks to push for his proposed travel ban that would temporarily, temporarily halt people from several Muslim-majority countries from entering the United States, and he tweeted this, quote, we must stop being politically correct and get down to the business of security for our people. If we don't get smart, it will only get worse. And he offered assistance to the UK in the investigation and response to the attack. But Jim, what can be done to stop the attacks like this? Uh, because we know uh, weapons are just a knife and a truck uh, rather than a gun or, or a bomb. Yeah, I mean, it's such a huge question for counterterrorism officials. And we don't know yet if this attack was linked to a larger terrorist group. But we know that ISIL and al-Qaeda know that it has gotten harder for them to operate in the West and hatch large-scale complex plots like we saw on September 11, 2001. So they've shifted tactics towards these sorts of attacks that require little planning or money. The terrorists just need a vehicle, perhaps some knives. They don't even have to communicate with operatives overseas, which makes it much harder to track them electronically. So authorities can continue to harden targets and add security checkpoints at airports and special events. But security forces struggle with having enough resources to track everyone on their radar and there will always be so-called soft targets out there. So now we're hearing from the British Prime Minister, Theresa May. She's now describing this as a new trend stemming from what she calls, quote, the single evil ideology of Islamic extremism that preaches hatred, sows division, and promotes sectarianism. She says new efforts are required to fight back against this ideology, especially on the Internet, where it's so often spread. We need to work with allied democratic governments to reach international agreements that regulate cyberspace to prevent the spread of extremist and terrorism planning. And we need to do everything we can at home to reduce the risks of extremism online. So she's saying that the emphasis should be on the ideology as much as the tactics. She went on to say there's simply too much tolerance for extremism in the UK. That is a new, tougher approach to this problem. But it won't be easy to stop that sort of message from spreading. Social media platforms like Twitter have recently cracked down on ISIL and Al-Qaeda-linked accounts. But it's still easy to find magazines like these online full of that hateful ideology and detailed instructions for launching these types of attacks, Juan.